of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. One of the beauties of the 700 is that it doesn't use all the technology that people expect out of bikes. But the thing is, keep the budget low, Yamaha. You have a good platform. Don't crowd it with modes. We don't need modes. This is just something for people who want to pose. It's like, oh yeah, I got sport mode. I got, you know, gravel mode. Eh, that's okay. Just ride it. I can control it with a throttle, okay? I don't need different modes. Keep it simple. I think uh, Yamaha is just getting carried away with the usual like, oh, we gotta keep up with other bikes thing. But I love the beauty of the 700, how simple it is. It's like, okay, it's a basic 700. And that seems to be a bike that might change a lot of things about adventure motorcycle. Because this 1200, it's a great bike except it's it does feel heavy it feels a little bit heavier than the gs because the gs keeps the weight a little bit down low so that's the thing when the gs is working it works really well it's a great bike it's very easy to ride it's um you can adjust the valves easy there's a lot of good things about the GS, but I just don't like the BMW name and the riders, they get it. Some grass clippings here. That seems to be the new, the new issue with riders. See grass clippings here? It seems like riders have taken arms up against grass clippings. It's incredible how dangerous grass clippings have become in a matter of eh, the last 10 years. Before that, when people were throwing grass all the time on the road, they didn't seem to be a problem. But now, all of a sudden, grass clippings are motorcyclists' worst enemy. Not cars turning left in front of you. Th those cars, that seems to be less of a issue. You know, the uh, next step up from grass clippings are people who throw away popsicle sticks. I think there's going to be a lot of riders very upset to pop school sticks on the road. That's going to be the new thing. What I'm trying to say is it's a non-problem for non-riders that don't ride enough to learn to go through an obstacle. Grass clippings are a... It's life, okay? There's grass on the road, there's gravel on the road, there's road that are wet, there's oil on the road. Yeah, grass clippings are not that big of an issue. Yeah, they're an issue like everything else in life. You can definitely feel the weight of this bike when you're riding. Much more than the V-twin of the V-strop. There's like some mass. It's the rotational mass that people don't talk a lot about. It's easy to ride, that's the thing. All right, here's some gravel. Oh, grass clippings. Definitely not comfortable going too fast, but man, it is, it is a fast bike, man. Jesus. Not as quick, and you know, the this bike is faster than the XR650R that I just sold. Much faster, of course. Ooh, these creatures are deceiving. They actually will run in front of you. This is much faster than the XR, but the XR had a speed sensation of being much faster. Yeah, this bike, I, I remember taking the XR and the 250 through here. And it felt like toys. This thing feels like it's out of place in these small roads. But in the big wide open sweepers, it actually feels pretty good. It does sound pretty good for an inline two. It sounds pretty good. Oh my god, there's so many. Why are these people out on the roads today? Today is a Saturday. I often find that it's better to have a bike that's a little bit harder to speed than this one. This one is uh, 
Wow, the front wheel actually wanted to come up there. Not as easy as the, the XR to get a wheel up. I think this bike kind of flies a little bit under the radar because it's a touring bike and it doesn't look like a sport bike. So I think you can kind of get away with a little speed. But the problem is, is that this bike, geez, it's 97 miles an hour. It feels like I'm going like nothing. What a gas guzzler of a bike. And I was in the wrong gear, but my 116 right now, it was much faster than the top speed on the v Strom 650. The v Strom 650 took a very long time to get to that. Now this one took no time at all and I was in the wrong gear and it still got over 100 miles uh, per hour. So kind of incredible. I just hate it when I hit a car caravan of slow moving cars. Oh, it's so frustrating. Oh man, I am so bored. Who are these people going so slow? What's the problem? It feels like it's going slow, but when you go at car-like speeds, it's torture. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that subscribe and that like. There's that cop. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, a new house. Being a baby! So we backtracked a tad!